Greetings everyone, All Classic Gamer here, and I would like to discuss about recent problem that I had uh, with Sony, how I resolved it, because um, I think it might uh, be very useful to uh, some of the people who are facing the same problem. So, as uh, some of you know from uh, some of my previous videos, I have a fat PlayStation 3. Uh, it's a 40 gig model, but uh, I upgraded a uh, hard disk uh, to 320 gig. But that's besides the point. So, this PlayStation 3 has been having um, uh, this uh, fan problem for quite a while, and it became worse and worse. Like um, the fan was getting uh, loud even after only a bit of uh, usage, and uh, basically, I got worried for it and. Um, I took PlayStation at one uh, service for checking, and they just said that um, yeah, the, the the CPU is uh, getting older, like uh, the, the the fan is happening uh, to to prevent overheating, and they said it's an old model and it's just a matter of time uh, when it'll when the fan will start stop working, and then when it will get uh, completely overheated and. Uh, stop working uh, the console altogether and uh, they just said that, 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 that nothing they can do about it they don't uh, manufacture these models anymore and uh, uh, that's, that's about it so I decided to sell this um, PlayStation 3 uh, due to problems it was facing and uh, knowing that it has these problems uh, uh, when I found uh, a buyer, I specifically um, asked him uh, to uh, sign a special uh, sort of uh, sales uh, deal, like um, that uh, uh, upon uh, being a new owner, that uh, that I don't have any responsibility for anything that this person is uh, is doing. Um, uh, if, if, for example, if for example it, it gets uh, uh, destroyed uh, or something like I, I can't be responsible for it or if it's like uh, overheating issues and uh, and yeah so uh, the buyer agreed without any problem to sign the contract and um, everything seemed fine I, I got uh, money I got rid of uh, PlayStation 3 which was very very outdated at this point and uh, uh, considering that uh, I wasn't even the original buyer of it, but uh, it, it came to me second-handed for free due to circumstances uh, that I don't need to speak about now. Um, I I'm surprised it even lasted this much years. It's like, uh, I believe that uh, it's 11 years old, uh, this model. So, yeah, it, I think, yeah, it was from 2007, I'm pretty sure. So, so yeah, it's it's impressive that uh, these models are still working, but uh, I don't know. I just don't find them very safe. Uh, for uh, you shouldn't rely on them too much. But all right, that worked fine, and uh, there seemed to be zero issues. Nothing was happening. Uh, I didn't have PlayStation Three, but I I, st I still don't have it. And uh, I'll I'll say in a minute why I didn't buy it for for this much time. I, I will buy a new model, uh, but um, th there was something I have to say. So I was uh, normally minding my own business and uh, one day, about a week later after I sold uh, uh, my PlayStation 3. Now, now keep in mind, I formatted a system fully before um, selling it, like I went to the users list, I deleted all the accounts, I formatted the hard drive, uh, and I sold it like that. So, just to, just to be prepared for for start uh, that um, that no 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 people in comments say that uh, like uh, oh you forgot this you forgot that. But I got a specific email from Sony saying that um, uh, so it was sort of like I don't have the mail now in front of me, but it was in in this uh, sort of matter. Like, um, an unauthorized software has been detected on uh, your PlayStation 3 uh, system uh, because this uh, violates the terms of service. Uh, we are banning uh, your PlayStation Network account permanently and the PlayStation 3 uh, console. Now, this was uh, very shocking for me because um, 
the specific PlayStation console hasn't been hacked, uh, which I used and sold. This account was not connected on any uh, uh, on any hacked device, uh, which is PlayStation 3. And the mail specifically uh, mentioned the PlayStation 3 as a console. They wrote, uh, uh, I don't know if they wrote my serial number of my console or not in the mail. I think they didn't, but they just said that they banned both system and the account permanently. And uh, this was this was just crazy. Like, I, I sell the system, so... And I formatted it, so even if uh, even if uh, something was to be done with this uh, console after after I after it's no longer in my possession, my uh, PlayStation Network account shouldn't have been uh, connected to to this uh, uh, system in any way. And um, considering that it has been formatted, uh, it, it makes no sense. Why would I be banned a, a week later after I no longer own the system? Uh, uh, saying this, you know, specifically due to unauthorized software. They didn't go into details, and that was about it. So, naturally, uh, my, my reaction was uh, negative, because uh, this has been my main account, and uh, the main one called All Classic Gamer, and... Uh, it was just shocking to see that um, the account which I purchased stuff, I even own Scott Pilgrim versus the world on this account, which is, by the way, discontinued game. You, you can't find it uh, anymore on, on PlayStation Network. And uh, just the thought that the account which had this purchase has been uh, completely banned. Th this game alone is already a problem, and let alone the other games I, I purchased from PlayStation Network. So... I called Sony immediately to say uh, that my account has been banned, that I believe that there has been a mistake, uh, that I no longer even have the system with me, that I was formatted. I, 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 saw, I basically said everything that I said in this video, and uh, uh, the person on the other on the other line, uh, they just uh, asked me for my account information, like uh, email, uh, birth date, and well, once I provided all that. Uh, uh, they just uh, checked and they said, yeah, this account's banned, uh, there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, it it's banned and uh, there's nothing we can do. So, I, I tried then live chat to try to type the problem because I thought that maybe maybe something in the way of communication was um, was like not done right. M maybe. Maybe they didn't understand me right because I'm not uh, a native English speaker or whatnot, which I find hard to believe because I definitely believe my English is understandable 100%. But um, still, I wanted to chat uh, on, on live support and uh, again, the same result. They just said that it is banned. And the, the, the guy was even saying, like, look, I, I'm sorry, I, I trust you that you didn't do anything wrong. We, we see all the, the orders uh, from the past, but there is simply nothing we can do. The account um, is is banned, and we don't even have the controls uh, to to change anything. Like they, they admitted that they do not have administrative powers to to change uh, this uh, uh, ban. So even if they wanted, even if uh, even if uh, I, I I did everything uh, that they said or. Or anything, even if it was 100% proven that the ban was a uh, 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 false, uh, they just couldn't do it because they had no such command on their like command list. I, I don't know how these uh, these people work on PC. I I, I know they can't uh, go on any website. So if I try to link them somewhere, they say no, no website works for us. I guess that's because. Uh, Sony installed some kind of uh, protection on their computers so they don't go browse internet while on, on job, but besides, that's besides the point. Uh, they they couldn't do it and um, I was pretty much losing uh, uh, hope. I tried uh, American support, I even tried Russian support because my account is American, but I tried Russian support because uh, uh, I compared this to Nintendo situation because um, uh, European Nintendo couldn't help me with the missing Ambassador games. Uh, like I told my serial number of 3DS and said, "Hey, uh, I purchased the the system before a price cut. Uh, can you uh, can you give me the games?" I never received them. 
which I still don't know why I never received them before uh, when I was supposed to receive them and um, the European Nintendo denied but uh, Russian and Nintendo uh, they were very, very nice about it and they gave me the game so I tried uh, contacting Russian PlayStation network support however the main difference was uh, they had no commands uh, to check accounts uh, which listed the uh, other country as their country and just to clarify the reason why my account is United States uh, uh, it has been done by me on purpose because I believe the software library at least at the time when the account was created uh, was uh, much uh, bigger in um, United States than Europe and um, yeah I still think it's it's a uh, sort of truth uh, even to this day because um, like for example Raymond Revolution PlayStation 2 classic on PlayStation Network you can you can get it without any problem on an American store however if you try to get it uh, on a on a European you're not gonna see it on the list the same goes with Japanese but then again Japanese account is useful for some other games and stuff so yeah but basically European uh, accounts uh, they don't have that big uh, library as American and uh, Japanese so yeah I tried everything and nobody could help me with this ban they just kept saying that um, my account has been permanently banned because of because it, it has been written for the reason like uh, uh, unauthorized software on a system and uh, stuff like that so they, they said they couldn't check anything they just said they just uh, when I type my name for support they see that it has been banned and uh, that's that's all the no, no command they have so I was getting uh, really really annoyed uh, with this situation because I, I knew I knew I didn't do anything to deserve this ban so uh, I resort I, I decided to do one last option searching forums and I came across uh, one uh, person on a, a game spot uh, with nickname uh, Traku uh, and uh, he had a, a similar problem he said he was uh, out of uh, country and uh, nobody was using PlayStation 3 uh, at that time when, when he was not home and when he returned and when he tried to use it uh, it, he just uh, discovered that um, that his account has been banned they had no reason why and uh, he tried also everything and he had the same problem he just kept uh, uh, getting the same answers like I did and uh, then he wrote that he um, had to uh, uh, search for for lawyer and basically only when a lawyer was uh, uh, writing uh, Sony only then Sony unbanned his uh, account so with this uh, example uh, found uh, on the uh, internet I decided to do exactly the, the same thing uh, I was uh, very lucky to find uh, a, a good lawyer uh, from the uh, United States which was willing to uh, take this uh, case even though I'm a foreigner so um, I told him basically a whole story and that how the account now can be used I, I showed the evidence uh, when the console was uh, sold um, and uh, and then he wrote uh, one letter and uh, for a long time Sony didn't respond anything he was just he was about to say they're probably not gonna respond let's move on other options uh, however in the last uh, minute uh, Sony actually responded and the response was quite shocking Sony argued that I didn't sell uh, uh, my system because they claimed that the IP address used to uh, access uh, the account uh, never changed like uh, before the date I claim my system was sold and after uh, the date uh, when my system was uh, sold Sony argued that uh, the IP address which uh, uh, which was there never changed therefore that uh, the console was used non-stop by the same person uh, before and after uh, sale however uh, the, the, the strangest part about that is that uh, 
the IP they uh, listed and because they they actually wrote the um, the IP address. Upon checking it, uh, I discovered that this IP address is neither my IP address nor the address of uh, a buyer for for from for my console. It was on completely like miles and miles away, a uh, different uh, region of country. Uh, the I uh, IP address. Never I traveled there. I don't know anyone from that place. So why did uh, uh, Sony have uh, have this IP address linked to my account on any way? It's just so weird. I have uh, no no idea why. And uh, then uh, upon further arguing with Sony, like um, I, I told my lawyer about IP address, uh, I showed him evidence that it's not my IP address, and uh, then uh, he, he responded um, I, I, to, again to Sony. Uh, Sony was uh, stubborn, and they kept saying uh, that they have proof that it's me, and... Uh, Yada yada yada, just saying like that. However, they said that they will, as uh, one time uh, only, that they will lift the ban and uh, restore my account. So they they still kept saying that they are uh, in the right and that that uh, this is my IP address and that I broke terms of service. However, they decided to uh, reinstate the account as a one-time exception. If uh, uh, and they they claimed if they catch me again uh, using uh, uh, unauthorized software that they are gonna permanently ban me forever. Now this threat uh, I don't understand because uh, I still stand, but w w through what I say that uh, I never used um, uh, anything uh, on this system, which is. Uh, which is illegal, it wasn't hacked, uh, and uh, my account was um, perfectly good standing, no problems, and the uh, email specifically said... Uh, now, now, some of you are gonna say that maybe I was banned because of, uh, of, uh, some, of something that's not PlayStation 3 related, but PlayStation Vita or PSP related. However, uh, in my defense, uh, the email which I received clearly stated that it was... Uh, PlayStation 3 console which uh, used unauthorized software and that uh, that is the reason why my account is banned. The, the, the strange part is that none of the other accounts I own uh, uh, are banned because uh, I own multiple uh, uh, accounts due to region uh, problems as mainly when uh, using uh, code. Like, uh, if you want to buy PlayStation Network code, you got to have the corresponding accounts. When I received the uh, uh, gift codes um, I uh, in order to claim the, uh, the money and be able to get the free game, I had to make uh, a brand new account uh, just uh, to activate it in that uh, region, which is a huge hassle because uh, Steam has uh, ability to change regions very easily on the same account back and forth as long as the IP address is from that country but Sony has nothing like that and uh, still I don't understand why was my account banned but this just shows to prove that uh, that Sony Sony doesn't listen to anything they they're just gonna keep uh, uh, being arrogant and this and thinking that they're only ones in the right the, the, we, we see how they treat uh, the whole situation about the crossplay. They think their system is the most superior, and that uh, that's why, like, if, if you have the game on PlayStation 4 and you play it there, you you can't play it on any other platform. Uh, like, like that's the case with Fortnite. Uh, I don't even play this game, but um, I still think it's very unfair uh, practice to block people if they want to play Fortnite on. Uh, on Switch, for example, on the go, and if they had the account used on the PlayStation 4, they can never play it on, on Switch. They had to create a new account, and, and everything would be lost there. I don't like it. But, uh, so the pro situation was resolved. My account's back, uh, and uh, I'll purchase uh, PlayStation 3 uh, Slim, which is um, hopefully going to have a 
not not hitting problems and because I heard that uh, PlayStation Slim was uh, uh, changed a lot uh, inside compared to the fat models uh, so that, that's pretty cool to know uh, I know it doesn't have backwards compatibility but then again not even all fat models have but um, I, I have PlayStation 2 so I, I don't need to play it on PlayStation 3 but um, yeah it was resolved um, it was kind of disappointing how how I had to go through all this trouble, even uh, even uh, to reach to lawyer in order to have a result. It's also sad how Sony didn't even have uh, like um, decency to admit mistake, but kept saying that it is my fault. But they still unbanned me. I, I, I can guarantee you, if uh, I kept uh, writing them myself, they will never abandon my account. You can say how you how, what you want about the lawyer situation, and is the is the, the lawyer of one customer a threat to big uh, company like Sony or not? You you can argue uh, and debate if, if they can if they should be scared of a lawyer or not. But let me tell you, not 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 even a giant company. Nobody nobody wants to receive a letter from a lawyer which. Uh, which said, which, which tells you that you did some mistake and that you should correct it. So, the same case goes for Sony. And yeah, it, it helped that it was the lawyer. So, this video, I thank him uh, from a uh, bottom of my heart that uh, he helped me resolve uh, the problem with PlayStation Network account. To Sony, I really hope uh, that uh, there won't be any problems. I'm buying a brand new s system like. Uh, without a, a, any any problems like uh, and if you try to say something uh, that uh, again uh, it, it's unbelievable but oh I almost forgot one last thing uh, regarding the situation when I got the account back uh, I logged on my PC to check uh, uh, settings and everything and I have seen that uh, for some reason my old system was still linked to uh, this old account and even when I clicked the option to deactivate, uh, uh, like uh, it still fucking stayed there. It said that I used recently the activating option, but they still said that my uh, uh, PlayStation 3, the the old one, is linked to this account. It's it's crazy. I had to call Sony again on the phone and ask them to uh, completely manually reset all the consoles from my account and unlink them. This is unbelievable considering at this point a lot of months passed since I owned this console and uh, basically nothing was um, like being used on my account so I clearly formatted the console before selling it. I don't know if it's possible to reverse uh, retreat uh, information from someone or not but it's all weird. From the IP address that doesn't belong to me, to account gl staying glitched uh, on, on the system, like at least according to when I logged on my PC. All this is crazy. Sony makes everything more confusing and unnecessarily complicated than it should be. And with that said, I hope that there, that I hope there won't ever be again a problem with the my PlayStation Network account because this is the second time I had a problem with this account. The first time it wasn't a ban but it was a trouble to reset password and now it was a ban so my account survived two things already and um, I really don't want to have any problem with this anymore. I'm even considering now that the account is back to perhaps uh, purchase PlayStation 4 uh, just to have it because um, it's like um, there are some games I want to try there mainly the new Spider-Man game uh, and uh, I, I just wanted to have it and it would be very very uh, unfortunate if the account stayed banned that was one of the reasons why I also uh, didn't purchase PlayStation 3 sooner because I didn't want to purchase it before the problem was uh, resolved and uh, hope you all guys enjoy this so if you get uh, banned on a PlayStation uh, network uh, I'm afraid your only solution is to uh, seek a lawyer if you are really innocent uh, and if you strongly believe that uh, there is uh, nothing wrong you, you did uh, on uh, your account. Basically, 
I don't know what else to say, this is pretty much all. I hope nobody has these sort of problems like I did. But uh, yeah, just so you know, if you get banned, you should seek lawyer help. Don't uh, ignore it and think it's all lost, uh, I can't do it, there's a big company, I, I don't stand a chance even with a lawyer. Relax, you, there are already two confirmed cases uh, where this worked the other guy on the internet and now me so don't worry about it all's gonna be fine hope you guys enjoyed and see you later Dovijenia.